Hi guys, Matt here from Matt Design. Um, in this video, I want to show you how to add a blog post to your Concrete 5 website using Pro Blog. Um, very simple to do, just finding out where to put it. So, first thing we want to do is login. So, always slash login on the domain. Um, pop in your details. And then they check its updates. Okay, so what we're looking for is dashboard, and then at the bottom we've got our pro blog. So we're just going to add one there, and then um, let's just pull up my Word doc. So this is what we're going to use. So the system, what well, the blog post is called, Telematic Systems. I don't know what that means, but let's have a look. So what we're going to do, blog title, and then we're going to select a user. Admin's fine. Uh, choose a from now. So I've created a thumbnail. I should be sitting on my desktop somewhere. There we go. Telematics. So I've created these to size so they're all consistent before. Okay. Um, let's put that in there. Let's select it. Choose that one. And then post. So then let's come back. We don't want to pull the title in. We want to pull everything but the title in because that will come through automatically on the page. So... Let's pop that in there. Because um, it's going for Word doc, you probably get weird spacing. What you want to be careful of is copying in um, highly formatted Word docs that can be quite, quite bad. Um, so what I find before you copy them in is use your, I think it's your format tools, is it? Formats? Kind of a firmer in Word. This one, the rubber. So if you've got highly formatted um, Word docs, select everything and then just press that one. Um, we haven't got that problem. So come back to your blog post. And then the first paragraph, um, I always try and add a H2 into that set, just because it's more important. So it's always the, the most important statement. You want to kind of bold it up a bit and make it more relevant, and more, stand, um, more stand out for the user. I'm just going to bold some of these elements as well. Okay, then we're going to we're going to come across the options. Um, then here we've got tags categories. So here um, we've got a few categories already set up. Tags. So we've got I can't remember how to spell it now. Let's do this. Let's pop that in there. Press add. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> Say you want to schedule a few blog posts um, and we wanted to let this one just go live in a couple of days. We can kind of set a date and time on it f to go live, which is pretty cool. Um, that's how you do it there. And then we've got meta, so uh, here, this is our metadata. So I generally do this. Obviously, you'd probably want to optimize it best for keywords, but I'm not doing an SEO lesson here. But you want to get some kind of description and stuff in there. Um, okay. We kill that. Okay. Um, and that's it. Optimize. This will kind of tell you how well your post is doing for SEO. And you can always come back to the options and the post and stuff and tweak it from there. Um, fat it out a bit, make it a bit longer, put some links in. And then come back here and it'll tell you. So meta keywords, link density, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so ready to add. Let's click add a blog post. And then if you want to view it, just click on it. And that's where your blog post will come in. Um, and it will be all formatted to what you want. Should have all the, the bits and bobs ready to rock as well. Um, if we go to blog, to blog, we've got the whole blog feed kind of doing its thing as well. So, okay. Um, so as you can see, very simple. Just knowing where to put it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll speak soon.